Alright guys, the number one thing to get veiny is Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care at all Alright guys, what's going on? So, what I'm bringing for you today is a, another episode of Teen Bodybuilding Advice And so for this advice, I'm not sure for those of you who have me on Snapchat If y'all don't, um well, here's my username right here, Snapchat. Make sure y'all add me. Um, I, out of all my social medias, I always use Snapchat. I always post uh, uh, pictures of me flexing, my weigh-ins, my foods, uh, things I'm doing. I'm really consistent on Snapchat, Instagram, not too often. Uh, I post every once in a while when I have a good picture that I took. I post on there. But if you want to see what I do day to day, what I'm eating, and basically, if you just want to, uh, you just want to follow me on Snapchat. Now make sure to check me out. And so to get to the question, I posted this video on Snapchat. And so as y'all saw from that video, my arms were looking pretty veiny. And so what happened was I got someone who sent me a message. They're like, hey bro, how do you get so veiny? They asked, they asked me and I was like, oh, hey, that's a good question for me to make on my next uh, team bodybuilding advice video. And so let's get into it. Number one, the number one thing to get veiny is you have to be at a fairly low body fat percentage. And so basically me, I'm about 11 to 10% body fat. And so uh, that's the number one thing. You have to be at a low enough um, body fat percentage to see them. I would, I would say if you're under 12%, uh, you'll have veins, guys. Because my veins didn't start coming in to the about 12% range. Number two genetics guys uh some people can be 15 percent body fat and have veins on their uh, have veins on their arms forearms shoulders and, and stuff uh some people have to be 10 percent in order for them to start seeing their veins it just all it comes down to the gen genetics how vascular you're going to be but everyone can have a bicep vein everyone can have ve uh, veins on their forearms you just as long as you get low enough all right guys so that's basically all there is to it it just you have to be at a, at a low enough body fat percentage. You can't have fat and water all low, all in your arms and forearms and expect for the veins to be popping out. The veins will start popping out once you get rid of the fat, the water, and uh, your body fat percentage goes down. Um, and once your body fat percentage goes down, that's whenever uh, just be skin and veins. And once you get a pump, uh, especially when you're working out. When I'm working out, that's when I feel as if, as if I have the most veins. So, like right now, I don't have too much, too many veins, but as y'all saw from that clip, I, I get pretty veiny, and the lighting isn't the best here. So, yeah, guys, the number one thing is you have to be at a low enough percent body fat percentage and genetics. Everyone can have veins. Uh, some people would have to get leaner than others, but everyone can have veins, guys. Uh, there's no workout. Uh, supplements, they might, there might be some supplements out there, but it's just all temporary. Temporarily, nothing that you take once and you'll have veins for the rest of your life. You have to consistently keep taking supplement, and that's just a waste of your money when you could just acquire veins without having to waste 20, 30, 40 bucks on uh, every month for just to get some veins. Uh, and so, yeah, guys, all you need to do is get down. You don't have to buy anything uh, and keep making those gains, guys. I'm out. <laughs>